right guys, so we got another project out here in the shed. Um, this is a Scandic 2, I believe she's maybe a 92 model. Um, we picked this up not that long ago. She's actually currently not running at all. It was bought off a man that said he used her last year, tried it this year, and no luck. It's actually in pretty good shape. You guys check her all out. Um, windshield needs to be put back on. It's kind of just slapping there. But in terms of like how she actually looks, she looks pretty good shape down here. I think this is plastic. Yeah, a lot of this is just a heavy plastic. Uh, this model is pretty cool because it does have a reverse on her. A little gear shifter right here. It has a battery, so let's just see if she wants to start it all. I'm not sure what the battery's dead. Alright, back one second. I'm going to grab the booster, and we'll uh, see if this one's a crank. Uh, the fella said he wasn't sure if she had spark, and she didn't want to run. So, Alright, let's see if she'll run, boys. Okay, guys, so i got my little battery charger on anyways. Um, you can see she just plugged in there. Uh, let's check it out, see if she got, she'll she actually pull over for us. Okay. Well, that's not off to a good sign. <laughs> uh, I think she's stuck. Uh, since we got the battery charger, let's try turning the key. Yeah, okay. All right, we got some binding going on. Let's go have a look. This might be the starter motor. The starter's down right here. Okay, I'll get some light for you guys. Okay, so we can see our flywheel. We can see the starter. It uh, clearly has rust on it. I think this is like the old style. It has like a Bendix arrangement. See that? Might have to take the starter motor off. All right, let's uh, try tapping it a few times. If not, we're gonna take this. We're gonna pull that right off. Okay guys, I'm thinking that it might be just weather stuck. I'm gonna see if we're gonna knock it back free without damaging the teeth. I need some light, that's for sure. Okay, I just took off that cover as you guys can see. And then, it's a bad angle over there, but effectively this is all it is. You see the starter, I'm pretty sure she's binding. Look, there's a screwdriver down there. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna find when you get when you buy an old used slid. <laughs> Somebody's been working on this, but yeah, I'm gonna pull the starter off here now. It's probably weather seized, or maybe it needs to be rebuilt. So you see the little solenoid right here. When that gets energized, it kicks out your little Bendix and cranks this uh, fog wheel. Pretty cool little setup. Okay, guys, so I uh, had to run out back again. Um, this top bolt is a hex head. Down here, it's actually an Allen, an Allen head, it's like a cap screw. So I'm pretty sure they gotta come out and then the mounting support bracket on the back and then this whole unit should pop out of place. I didn't have the proper size, so I went over to Princess Auto. I need a six mil, which is probably that one there. And um, basically this is kind of an awkward spot. So I can't really get a good reach with a normal Allen key and it's on pretty tight. So set of these, gonna come right in handy. So I'm going to pop these out there now, and then we're going to switch over to the other side, get the back of that plate off. I think it's almost like a clamp in place to hold it here. And then we're getting this bad boy out of the way. Other than that, we got our positives running down to the solenoid and our trigger wire for the solenoid. So hopefully we can get this out of the way, and we'll be able to see what this engine spins like, see if she has compression, all that good stuff. Hey guys, so I got the two bolts out. I just took a um, that little punch thing and knocked this back. On the other side is just three, three little bolts. Um, but I just want to show you guys very quick. So now that the starter is not bound up there, reach over here. You can tell she rolls over, and she sounds like she got a lot of compression, or she certainly feels like it, and should the recoil. So let's go ahead. Let's get the starter out of the way, and then test for spark, all that goodies. So nothing fancy to this boys, it's just uh, you kind of got to manhandle it, wiggle it out of there and if you don't come that easy, take like a punch and just 
either tap the solenoid or just tap down here and just drive it back as well. Okay guys, so we get the starter motor off. Uh, it's no longer on the machine. As you can see, she wants to roll. Let's try giving her a bit of fuel. Power button. Uh, let's do my little quick cheat. So these snowmobiles are two stroke, of course. Um, just like my three wheelers, got some liquid fuel, not going to do a lot, I just want to see if the engine shows a sign of life with a little bit of fuel. Just to see what happens, any sign of life. Okay guys, so I guess it's time to check the spark, okay? No, no sign of light yet. Okay, spark test coming in. Okay, we got spark in the first number. That's good news. Check the spark in the next one. Just finger tight, but they should shot it so it's not like it's not working. Check this one. That's good. Alright, so we got squared. Let's try some more fuel. Let's try this primer like the old way. Put a tiny bit of fuel in this down the engine. Okay guys, so we're back up the shed again. It's a couple days later. You can see I got my uh, sled is in next to my father's sled. They're kind of like sister sleds. So uh, this one's been running, as you've seen in one of the previous videos. This one over here, we're still working on. So um, I went ahead, I tested the compression on her. She's got decent compression on both cylinders. So I'm thinking I'm narrowing this down to a fuel problem. So as you can see, you got the plugs out and i got the carbs off her someone had those carbs taped up um i got new boots on the way for the rear i'm gonna leave those on temporarily i'm just waiting on the ones come in the mail i got new boots that goes right here so what I, and i'm also got a new fuel pump because last day when i was out testing this um as you can see here's your fuel pump down here essentially all you have is one that comes from the tank one that draws a vacuum from the from the actual crankcase and then two outputs one that feeds each carburetor so i'm gonna prop you guys on the stand i'll show you what it's like is i could get one side gets a bit of fuel every now and then and then that's it so um i think the fuel pump is gone on this but since hey guys i'm gonna see if i can get you some video footage of this anyways might not be uh really easy to see but um so here's our two main lines coming up. Pushes out the way. So ideally these are supposed to be getting fuel when I cranks are over. So just watch, I'll just, just uh, I don't have spare plugs in, so. As you can see, it doesn't really draw much fuel, so Skidoo kind of needs fuel to run, eh? <laughs> 
Also, I had a hard time finding which fuel pump. This is the one I'm going to be using. It's uh, Kimpix. It says 301259. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and clean these. Uh, depending on how bad they are, I might actually soak them in the ultrasonic cleaner. So anytime you're working on carbs, keep in mind or keep note what side which was on. I left this boot on as a reminder because the other boot is on the engine, so I know which side this uh, is on just by looking at the engine. But if you're not sure, you can always mark it. Uh, you can put down right side of sled or left side or clutch side, whatever, whatever works essentially. So we're gonna go ahead we're going to dismantle both of these just because we're trying to get the machine to run. So, get the carbs off, might as well clean them. So, let's get some screwdrivers. You can see it's just Phillips. And we'll see how bad or how dirty these will look. I have a feeling that they're not going to be too dirty because supposedly this machine was running like a year ago. Okay guys, so I got the carburetor in the ultrasonic cleaner with some pine saw. So that's overworking its magic. So let's go ahead now. We're gonna rip off this old fuel pump. So I'll just get this little light out of the way. There you go, you guys can see a bit easier. So you can see I got a bolt on the bottom right and I got one on the left there. That's the two mounting bolts on the far right and on the far left. So I'm gonna go ahead, let those go. You can see the hose that's right here the black hose down below heading to the right on the picture that's our crankcase vent and we should have one down here somewhere as well which is just uh fuel in pretty easy eh so let's go ahead and uh, i'm going to take note as well the orientation so we can see uh, the two hoses comes up for the input for the carburetors so we compare the old versus the new we have a vacuum, a vacuum. We have an out and an out, out and an out, intake, intake. Pretty simple, same thing. Might be slightly different arranged in terms of layout. I'm gonna go ahead, bolt this in place. I got some new fuel lines as well, so we'll throw all that on and we'll see if we can get this thing run. Okay guys, I'm back out in the shed. It's another day later, just based on time. Um, I gotta tidy up the fuel lines, but I got all new lines ran. Um, I just primed, Plumbed everything back in. I got the primers hooked up, the uh, fuel pumps hooked up. The fuel pump is down right there. I had to spin the orientation because I think this fuel pump is off a different machine. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna put you guys in the stand. I'm gonna pull this over and we're gonna see if anything happens. <laughs> I have no idea. Engine is bare cold, no attempts. So you guys will be seeing the first attempt. So let's see what happens now. It might take a while if, to see if that fuel pump works. You've got to pull fuel from the tank up into those carbs. But let's see if she got any life in her. Okay, something's going on with the throttle. Figure that out here now. Note to self, make sure you have uh, the throttle cables, like uh, the slides down there, make sure they're fully screwed down. I had that one over here, slightly cross-threaded. Try it again, guys.
Hey guys, so I got the place all smoked out still. I'm gonna shut her down for this evening. So uh, I got fodder schedule running for them. So I did notice when I was gonna jack up the rear, the track needs to be adjusted on her because it's too loose. So I'll give her a little bit of maintenance. But yeah, she runs, boys. She runs. So now we have two nice 377Rs. Really nice machine, excellent for hauling wood, all that fun stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys again soon. If you're new to the channel, always uh, drop a like and a, a thumbs up and a subscribe, and it goes highly appreciated. Stay tuned for more projects in the future. Thanks, guys. See you again soon. Buddy is out.